So what is our purpose? When you put up a video for a student, why are you doing that? What, what is it that you, what, what's your goal that you want to accomplish? And I'm an educator, so this is an interactive session. <laughs> What, what is it that you want? You want them to get the content. Anything else? I want them to be able to have, um, to be able to interact with it. So they can rewind it, stop. Yes. You, you want them to be able to have content at their own speed. So you're yeah. wanting to use their time wisely. And, and, a, and, a, and a third piece is you want to make a connection with a student. When you're making your own screencast, you're putting your face on this. And, and that builds a connection because if the student can see you, whether you know it or not, they're connecting with you as your instructor. So those are, those are our um, purpose of why we're doing it. And what do you expect to have in this video? What is it that you want to put in it? Because I'm going to tailor this according to what it is that you're looking for. Audio. You want audio? Sound. Sound. Speaking narration, if you will, something like that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Images. Images. You want to be able to bring in the textbook or a, a graph that you're, that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Emphasis on any minute details and images like pointers, arrows. You want to so call circles, outs in call there, outs. circles, pointers, arrows. Mm -hmm. Good. As I, Winona, that's our, go ahead. As, as we know to mention, interactivity. I mean, maybe you want to put in a question or, or like it that, stops yeah. a video and, and, and asks a question. Mm -hmm. Yep. We can do all of that, and we can do all that today. In fact, I want my face in there. I've found that I've put up presentations where my where they can see me and presentations where they can't see me and they prefer to see me even if I'm not the best person to look at they prefer that connection because it feels to them like I'm actually teaching that's that's some of what they said in the flip classroom you're not really doing the teaching well they feel like they're getting that teaching piece so here's here's some of the pieces that you can that you can that we're going to do today we talked about the call out instructor without a background that is distracting. You, how about the instructor being able to write? One of the things that we're going to do is, is you can write while you're talking. My hand is not in the way, so you're not having a picture of my hand writing. I'm being able to use a, a tablet to write up there. So I want you to see if you can find these in this short video clip, and then we're going to show you how we did it. Okay? Ready? The snowman. So we've got some video, sound, we've got call outs. Would you like to build a snowman too? I'm from Ohio and we get a chance to build a snowman a lot. So I can tell you three things that you need to build a snowman. First and foremost is you need snow and not just any kind of snow. You need the real good snow that packs she nice and tight, while she's kind of wet. And when you put it together in a ball, it should hold on. It doesn't fall apart on you. That's the good stuff. Second thing you need to think about is the structure of your snowman. And a good structure for your snowman is going to keep it standing up real good and tall, but also you're going to have the longest lasting snowman on the block. Third, is the decor and the decor you use the extras the scarves the hats that's going to be what gives your Here's snowman your its personality it's going to scream out this is your snowman so think about what you're going to put on your snowman let's go back and talk about the structure of your snowman let's take a look at the second snowman in our picture and let's put Here's it under snowman. our special x-ray machine so we can take a look at what's on the inside of our snowman and gives it that nice sturdy structure and keeps it from melting so fast. So here we go. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the inside of a snowman. That's a person. How did that person get in there? Did they get caught in a snowstorm? Fade what? out to black. You've got scrolling words across the scene. Pictures. Did that have all the pieces in it that you would want to have 
if if I can give this all to you in, in an hour. That was cute. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's take a look behind the curtains. And I'm going to show you how we do this, and I want you to pay attention because then we're going to sit down and say, okay, now we're going to do it. Tell us what to do. Okay? Go ahead. First of all, can I do it? It's a big, huge black box that looks like it was very professionally done. And you've got all the tools here that you need to do it. And this studio gives you that the green screen as a background so that you're already set up well for it. See those little guidelines there? That's Veronica, that's me, that's Keith. We're going to be your help. Go ahead. What equipment do we use? Your green screen, which you've got right here. A tablet, which they can get. It's not required. I'm sorry. It's not required. You can use an a iPad. You can, but if you want to be able to write while you're talking, you need to have something. And you can use a mouse, um, but if you're going to be doing it for a lot of times, you're going to want a tablet or, or some sort of tablet software. Next, you want Windows Journal, which is on every PC. It's a free program. I didn't even know I had it until someone said, well, you have that Windows Journal on there. And if you press start and type in Windows Journal, you'll find, oh, that you do have it. Go ahead. And this microphone webcam, this webcam, $50, it's a USB plug-in, it has the camera on it and it has the sound on it. So that you don't need to wear the headphone with a microphone. What we did there, you, you saw she was just sitting in front of that and that was on our screen. So it was a, a distance away and it still picked up her voice just fine. And Camtasia 8. Camtasia 8 is important versus Camtasia 7 because it's got some additional features that let you do what we're going to do. That's a question. Sure. On the green screen part. Like if you don't have a green screen, then what? If you don't have a green screen, well, I'm going to place this uh, 30 second video and I'll show you. This green screen that we have that we bought that we put right behind her, because this is our setup. Um, $50. And it's one of those pop out, like a kid's pop out thing, and then you can put it away. So if you don't have it, this is what we use. So go ahead and play this video, Amy, and it shows you our setup. Hello, today we're going to talk about the equipment that you need to build a Camtasia video. The first thing that we need is a green screen. And one thing you need to remember when you use a green screen is you probably don't want to wear green clothes. It's going to be a good look for you to remove all the green from your video. The next thing, if you want to write on your video, is you'll need a Wacom tablet. Then you're going to need some software that you can run in the background behind you. It could be PowerPoint, or in our video we used MS Journal, or you could also use Smart Notebook. You could have the internet pulled up behind you, whatever works for the presentation and the content that you're trying to present. And the last thing you'll need will be Camtasia 8 and a good webcam with a built-in microphone. And then you'll be all set and ready to record. You see how we have the screen right behind her? The closer you can get the screen to you, um, where, where your lights are. This room is, is great, but we don't have this room. And as long as you have the green screen behind you where shadows are not shown. That's the big part of it, is that if you have a shadow, when you take out that green color, wherever it's a shadow, it's a different color green. And so that won't go away. Okay? Go ahead. So here are the directions. You're going to set up your equipment, press record, do your teaching, edit it. That's where we put the pictures into it. <coughs> Click save and click publish. It's really that fast. And we're going to give you a little more on the editing pieces. Go ahead. <clears throat> so we set up the Windows Journal tablet and pen. So this is our Windows Journal. It's a lot like Word, only you can write on it instead of uh, typing. So we brought in this picture. We This is a text box that we... Um, 
I had sitting there, as, as you saw that right in, in the beginning, and we left space for us to write in, and we left space down here for our picture to go in there. So you need to plan that ahead of time, is where am I going to be writing, where am I going to zoom in, and where is my picture going to sit. Okay. The next piece is you, so I've got that up on my screen, then I'm going to click Camtasia 8, which is going to open right on top of my Windows Journal. Press button. There's the record the screen button. It, it's right up there, right in front of me. You're like, okay, um, how is this going to work because I need all my stuff? Press the button. And it actually goes away and your whatever's behind you is, is, is sitting there. And it could be PowerPoint, it could be Windows Journal, it could be um, whatever it is that you're using for your background. But see this little box? That pops up down there. If I, the first thing I want to do before I click on the record button is I'm going to click on this button here. Go ahead. When I hover over that, it will show me, that is, that is a live picture of what your webcam is, is showing you. Make sure your green screen is located where you want it. Make sure that you're centered in the picture. So you, you hover over that until it's right. You can hover over your audio and make sure that it's picking up your sound just fine. And then you click record. Go ahead. It gives you a three, two, one showing up on your screen and then it goes away. And you can't really tell that it's in the background there. <clears throat> and so you need to teach. It tells you, press F10 to stop the recording. You want to know that. Because if you're recording, I've done this at the beginning, you're recording and then you say, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. How, how do I press end? You know, you need to know, whichever, whatever, uh, recording software you're using, they all use different ways of ending it. This one's at 10. Okay. When you're done, it'll say, do you want to save it and edit it or delete it? And you click save and edit, and then you click on visual properties. Because the first thing we're going to do is take the green screen out. So when you click on visual properties, you click on remove a color, now, maybe you don't have a green screen, maybe you have a blue screen. Now, I don't use a blue screen, it takes out my eyes. It can take out all of me if I wore this. But click on that drop down arrow and you can pick up this select a color. Select a color because my green screen, as you saw, was a little bit darker than the green screen that they've got here. So you are going to tell it what color you want to take out. Now, this is what it looks like when we first got it. We put her right here. We take that um, eyedropper and we click on a part of the green. And this is what we get immediately after that. So it took out all the green. You can work with the hues. There's a little couple of other sliders there if you want to work with details. I mean, whoops. There's, there's the sliders for you. Yep. Yeah, there, there's some, some other sliders with tolerance, softness, and hue that you can play with if you want to. But if you don't, go ahead. If you don't, this is what you get. Now, notice we have a little bit of green around the edges here. That's because she has, you know, her, her hairstyle is a very difficult one <laughs> to do with this. But we could, we could play with those details. I just wanted to show you what it looked like just by one button. One button is what we're going to get to today. Okay, and then we're going to add the pictures. So you click on import media because, for example, we're going to do this hat and take you through how we brought that hat in. So I click on import media, I look on the computer, I pull it into my clip bin, and then I'm going to click on the hat and bring it right down onto my timeline. You'll see that automatically it puts my sound and, and our what, whatever we had for video in there. And then these other tracks, you can build as many tracks as you want on top of it, and you've got to consider it as your cake and your frosting. So whatever layer of frosting I put on, and then if I'm going to build a flower, I'm going to put a leaf down, and you can see the leaves, and then I'm going to put a little flower on top. Whatever is on the top track is on top of everything else. 
So as long as this is on top of anything below it, it's going to show through. So we put this hat here. Mm -hmm. And then we put in the text box for the call out because when I pulled it off of the internet, I have to tell you where I got it from, so I'm citing my references there. I click on the call out. I add the call out. I click on the text box. And I say, okay, I want it to be right there. And then I can change the size of the, of the text call out. I don't know if you noticed the call outs while we were going through it, but every time we had a picture that we had grabbed off the internet, we also had a call out citing that reference. And so here is the call out coming in, and it's on top of the, of the hat. Okay. Now let's show you how we did this with a little video, now that you know what you're looking for. Go ahead. Hi, this is Diane Yeoman, and I'm going to show you how to import media into a Camtasia 8. Click on the Import Media button. It will open up your computer, and on your computer, we're going to import. Oh, come on. Stop saying that. Scarf, there we go. So that we can add that to our the scarf. theme. And here's the new picture that this purple scarf that we just imported. And what I've done is I have set up my video so it's exactly in the place where I want to import the scarf. Look down here and you'll see that this is where the hat comes on. If I move the video playhead, you'll see the hat comes off. When it hits that button, the hat comes on. That's exactly where I want the scarf to be. So I'm going to grab it with a left click, and I'm going to pull it down onto the track. And I'm going to move it over to be right there. And you can see it. So it's, it's too big, so I can grab a corner and resize it. And I also want to take out some of the, the gray area. So this is how I take a color out. I click on Visual Properties. I click on remove a color. I'm going to choose that color by saying select a color and I'm going to bring this dropper over to the gray part. See where the end of it is? It's touching one of the gray squares. Click on that and it'll take away all the gray squares. That's exactly what I wanted and I'm going to make this smaller. Put it where I want it to be on the screen. And the next thing, you look at my timeline and I say, well, I only want it to stay on as long as, as long as the hat is on. So I'm going to grab the edge of it and move it back to that side. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to move this playhead, and you'll see the hat and scarf come on there at the same time, and they both go off at the same time. There you go, and that is how you do it. And then, to make it ADA compliant, you have to add captions. But they've done a good job of building this in as, as good as technology is now. It, the technology needs to improve, but for right now, if you want to add speech to text, you click on the More button, click on Captions. There's a Speech to Text button, and it will take my, what I've said, and put it directly into those little bubbles where it has already aligned with the audio and the video. Now the speech isn't right. It's close, but the timing is right. And so what I need to do is I click on, for example, do you want to build a snowman? And then if you press enter, it will play whatever is in that bubble. So I press enter, I listen to it, I type it, I press enter again to make sure it works, and then I click on the next one. And that's how you go and fix all your captions as you go through it. And you press the produce and share button. There's different ways that you can 
save it, but MP4 is what a lot of people like to use. If you're going to put it up to YouTube, you probably want MP4. It says that it's rendering the video. The longer it is, the longer this takes. And then it tells you where it puts it. You're, if you're going to say, well, wait, I did all that. Where, where did it store my, my video? That, that's where you stored it. And then you're done. That fast is how fast you can do a Camtasia. Any questions? I have a question on the um, on the pictures when you were moving the color. Could you actually like do all that ahead of time in another program? Sure. Make them if transparent I, if, and then bring them in. When I time? had when I had the Windows Journal, remember we had the snowman picture there, and I could set up an, and the, the next page is where we had the skeleton. Because remember we went from one page to another page, so that those pictures were already there in the presentation so you could do some of that ahead of time or you could have it as a powerpoint where it's the powerpoint is your background and that's what's showing up as you're talking when you're doing the clicking um but what what i like to what i like to do is or what i've learned to do is when i build it like that and then i, I give my presentation and then i'm in editing it and it's like oh i wish i'd had a graph here or i wish i hadn't have filled up my screen so that I can't bring in something else on top of it. You saw that we brought in the hat and scarf over our words because our screen was full and with what we were going to take out, the picture or, or the other thing. So you'll learn a balance of what you like to do ahead of time and what you like to do when you're in the editing process. Because what you can't do is that snowman picture that was there throughout the whole piece, I can't take that out. I could cover it with a call out that was white and then put something else over it, but once it's in the background of my video, I, I can't change it. Okay. I was thinking we had that journal in here. We don't know. And so we open, so if, if you press start, you press the start button, this is Windows 8, so we've got a, our search up here, but your start button on, on it. Windows 7 would be there, and you type in Windows Journal or just Journal, you'll find that there's a there's a Windows Journal on your computer, and you just click on it and you start it. And what I like to do is you can change the background there. This one came up as lined paper. You'll notice that we used one that was a completely white background. And a lot of my videos, I have a chalkboard as a background. The students like to relate to when I teach math that there's that it looks like I'm doing it on a chalkboard. And so now we're going to do Camtasia. So here's our, here's our Windows Journal. The first thing that we probably want to do is insert a picture. So you have to go up to an insert. Oh, we're having to take out our speaker and put in our, our uh, tablet. <laughs> insert a picture. Um, Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Okay, but but you you could you could put in any picture that you there's wanted. No sample to. pictures in here. Yep. Go to libraries. There's no there's no sample mm -hmm. pictures. But that's where you put a that's where you put a picture. And yeah, that's okay. And then you put in an inserted text box. And you say this is our our test. Camtasia. And you select it and we'll change the font. Use the color, make it a little bit bigger. So you understand how to how to put text boxes up there. Let's open up Camtasia. Yes. Yep. Is our is our webcam on? Yeah, we'll get that on. Oh, Camtasia opens up usually. Yeah. 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 If you press start, the start button. Oh, you got it. Mm -hmm. It's on our desktop. 
Okay, now I told you we're going to let you tell me what to do. So what do we do? Record the screen. Where's record the screen? Over the top of the This one was not set to bring the welcome screen, so it is still available though on the record the screen. Okay. Upper left. Did we put Amy riding on the boats? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, I went to Alaska this summer. That, that's from my camera. Wow. There we go. Okay. So this is what we get. We need we need to have uh, our Windows Journal up. Yeah. And we'll notice the green box is small. That's the mm -hmm. only area it will record in. So if you want full screen recording, you have to expand. Okay, pull up our Windows Journal, please. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't want full screen recording. Um, you can make that box smaller because I don't want to record up here. Which area do you not you yeah. want the And I don't want to record down here. Yeah, usually we don't want to detach that. You grab that. So you change your box to the part that you want to record. Alright. Snap to a hover over this and we'll say, oh, I think that we need more of the green screen there. There we go. Excellent. Now you see where, okay, that looks good. How's our audio? Uh, let's see here, audio is down here. And can you talk? Yep, it's testing, testing. And you can see the green lines going there? Mm hmm Okay, Amy, let's record. Oh boy. Give, okay. us, give us 20 seconds of ask about if you want to build a snowman. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to wait for the countdown. Three, two, one. Good morning, everybody. Would you like to build a snowman today? Of course you would, because the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. So it's perfect for building a snowman. Can you write on that? Let's see if it will write today. For building a snowman. Try, try your mouse. Yeah. See here. Oh, there we got it. Okay. For building a snowman, the you will need thing. snow. This is why the tablet works a little better. The tablet's better. We couldn't get the tablet oh. to, to connect today. There we oh. go. And we'll say decor. Okay. And so on. Okay. And so hit F10. We're done. And you'll see it goes into automatic here, preview. We'll click on save and edit. Save it. What size do you want the video to be? You can choose how big or small you want this to be. Hit OK. Mm -hmm. Now, wait, don't do anything. What do I want to do? Yep. Yep. Let's take out the green screen now. This, this is we had her green screen a whole lot closer, so this this might give us a, a problem. Um, go ahead and click on, yep, just the just that particular part, and then now where do I go to take out the color? Go to more, visual properties. Yep. Remove a color. Mm -hmm. And then there's your color. Let's see if it works here. Ooh, we'll go middle range. We'll see if we can get something. Okay. Now let's let's take that box and move it more towards this, the bottom corner because that's where we want it to be. And make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And you can work with the tolerance a little bit on that to take out that. Let's put it to the right hand corner because it looks like we're having trouble with the right hand side of our screen. And if we put that off of our screen, yep, you won't be able to tell. Okay. And then um, hit play. Let's see how it works. 
Oh, yeah, I took the speaker out. Okay, and now what do we want to add in? There, there's, a, there's a picture we want to add in. Yep. So, go ahead and open up the internet, Amy. And let's pull in an image of a snowman. No, we are not. Okay. We, we aren't going to do that. We're just going to pull in an image. We only have the one image on here. Okay. How do I how do I bring in an image? Import media. Let's take that picture. <coughs> and where do we want to put it on the screen? Or wait, wait, wait. How do I how do I add that into our video? <coughs> Right. Yeah, now now first first move this timeline piece to where to the head to where we want it to be. Let's be right about there. Okay, now we'll bring in the picture. Drop it on the timeline. And then you can extend it or move it. One or another. Yep. And then Yep, make it a little smaller. Anything else that you want to do? The, the background as well? We captured the window. Remember, we, we didn't have the top part in, um, but we did keep the bottom part in. She turned out the dolphins. Oh, really? no. oh no, we, we didn't. We didn't have, have the dolphins, dolphins. Mm -hmm. but we could snag the dolphins. Yeah, snag I happen to have to be happen to have snag it. There you go. Hello, whales. Here you go. Sorry. Yeah, we can still snag it. It let me snag it. The other thing that you want to put in there was a quiz, which you can put in, and and we can show you how the quiz works. And you wanted to put in a call out. So, did you want to bring in that picture? Try to save it. Yep, it did. It saves it and snag it. There we go. Oops, down here. You can layer things, right? You can you <laughs> can layer things. You could drag this one on top of the other one. We can put that one in the same place. Yep. And then you can put in do you want it to fade in or fade out? So it would have fade in and fade out. And let's put in a call out. Okay. Can you add motion to object? Yes. You saw the snowballs go across? Yep. First, first, let's let's put a call out in. Let's put the arrow in. Okay. Yep. I clicked on add call out. Mm -hmm. And now, sh let's show you where it is on the timeline. You, you're going to have to scroll up to the, the track. Cause it, it's because it went on top of the next track because it was longer than and something else that you already had on the line, so it'll keep building up above it. These points here tell you it's got to fade in and fade out of that pointy arrow. And if you want to make it move, you click on, oh, where's our animation? Digital properties. Digital properties, add animation. And then we're going to move, the, move it to where you want it to be. If I want to do yeah, there we go. That and then show me where you want. Add it. Add oh, we have to add a second one yet. Yeah. Oops. Right there. Okay. 
And now move the club play head across the arrow and see that it Morning everybody. Would you like to build backwards. a snowman today? Of course you would, because the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. That's how fast you put in a color out and an animation and a picture and um oh and the closed captioning. Okay. Click on yep, captions. Click on Continue. It takes it a minute. <laughs> and and it does a whole lot better if you trained it yeah. with your voice. So this is not going to this is going to be as bad as it gets. <laughs> but it's important for you to know that expect that you will be typing in your captions. Right, but, but the good part is, is you don't have to then take your captions and make them align with the audio. They they have connected them. That's that's the hard part is does my does it sound like the words are coming out of my mouth at the time that my mouth is looking like the words are coming out of my mouth. Okay, so press, click, click on that box, and press enter. Good, because the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. Okay, so, so the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. Highlight it. And... Good, because the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. And then you can go on to the next one. So that, that is the most labor intensive piece of it, is still putting in the captions. That's what I'm saying. The technology is not quite caught up with what we're trying to do because you still have to go back and, and fix this. And so we're hoping over the next few years that, that, that it keeps getting better, but it's still a ways away from where we need it to be. Let's add a quiz. Go down to more, you click on quizzing, and it says, okay, you can put, it there. Where, put your playhead where you want to put the quiz question in, and that's where you want to stop it, and go ahead and type in, Oops. and here's your quiz question. Quiz mm -hmm. one, you, there are a few choices that you can use to put in a quiz question. You can do a multiple choice. What color is the sky? Oops, it too. Okay. Oh. oh, there we go. I forgot how to do that. It is scoring. It has a scoring output. And when you when you go to the produce and share, you have now made this much trickier. Now, because in in our um, produce and share when we produced the MP4 video that you saw, we had closed captions on it and we had a quiz on it. You won't see them in MP4 video because MP4 doesn't. It, 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 or you will, you can see it, but not if you put it in PowerPoint, which is what we did. It, 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 it takes it out. But if you use Blackboard or Desire to Learn, you're going to get a whole folder of stuff. But you're going to want zip. And one of the choices you can say is give me the zipped output. You take that zipped output, I'm going to upload that, and that will give you your SCORM compliance, I mean, your SCORM grading output. And you can put that up on Blackboard or Adobe, um, the Adobe Connect, is it Adobe Presenter, or um, Desire to Learn. But now you're, that's not something I can teach you how to integrate all that within this hour. But I want to show you that you can build it in quickly. It's just making those tie into your grade book is, is, a, is a much bigger process. Oh, there we go. Okay, two questions in there. Yep. Okay. Do it too. Okay. So you want to do a, a produce. Hmm. We have to do custom, don't we? 
Yeah, you have to do custom settings because of that. You can do an MP4 or you can do different types of videos, but we're going to do an MP4. Um, keep going. This is where you are going to say, do you want your, how do you want your quiz results? Do you want it through email? Do you want it form compliant? We're going to click on this form Oops. and not through email. If you put in email, you'll have to put in an email and it will send all the answers to that email address. And then we're going to say, here's an output file. Where am I going to put it? Um, we want it to be uploaded by FTP, which we don't. And finish. And then it will render your video. And inside this folder, you're going to have a HTML piece of this. You're going to have an MP4 player, and you're going to have all the other pieces. If you decide, like we did, okay, I'm not going to take the quiz piece, I'm just going to grab the MP4, you can still do that, even after you've done this day. So. Any other questions? And when this finishes rendering, we'll, we'll show you our, our masterpiece. But you need to realize that we spent 10 minutes on that. And in 10 minutes, we were able to grab a picture and, and put in a couple pictures and put in a call out and move the, the arrow and um, make sure that we took the color out of the picture so that now she's sitting there in, in your video. And when you're writing on the screen, we met all of the goals that we had at the beginning. You walk, you walk in saying, I'm not sure I can do this. And now you're like, oh yeah, I can do all of, all of those things. And it gives you a professional looking video which meets a lot of the criteria of, of, of what it is that you want to not be able to do at first. And there's, don't get me wrong, this is like showing you Microsoft Word. And I'm showing you, you can open it and you can type. And then I, I'll, I'll show you how to make headings and you'll be like, oh, that's cool. But there's an awful lot that I haven't showed you. Same with Camtasia 8. There's a, there's a lot more that it does. I'm just getting you in the door so that you can produce something very quickly. And then it, there's plenty of tutorials that are online and that are free for the next thing that you want to do. You say, oh, can I do this? And they've got beautiful five-minute videos made on Camtasia showing you how to use Camtasia. Um. Have you used Tools, Camtasia Tools, Tools, iOS, and Android to do video and then incorporate it into the Camtasia? I haven't yet. But that was something I'd use. Camtasia 8 is the one that I believe it, you're able to output in formats that you can use yes. on, 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 on yes. mobile yes. devices. Yes. Yeah, one from the mobile device. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, there's still a, 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 lot. a lot out there that you can, can learn. So where are you planning on using this? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Uh, he's going to teach them to teach it to you? No, 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 she works for well, but one of the things that we liked about Camtasia is that it met the faculty needs, or what, what they were asking for, is that they wanted to be able to put themselves in the video without showing their office, which is what we were getting in a lot of our videos. And you can use a green screen, but if you don't use a green screen, let me rephrase that. If you use a green screen, you can put any picture behind you that you want. I think you had someone yesterday who had the Library of Congress behind him while he was um, giving his introduction to his students in his literature class. So it can let you take your students anywhere you want to take them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that's not coming up because we're not attached to the internet. Let me log into that real quick.
And if you open up the, um, if you go into the folder, you can pull out the MP4. Yeah, I can just pull out the MP4 video. Do you see it there? Right above your there's your Thank you. I see it. That you would grab and put up into Blackboard or Good morning, everybody. Would you like to build a snowman today? Of course you would, because the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. So it's perfect for building a snowman. Can you write on that? Let's see if it will write today. For building a snowman. Try, try your mouse. Uh, Uh, let's see here. And quiz will not come oh, there we've got it. Because you got the end of For building a snowman, you it's will need. Cool. That's good. I think that gets us yeah, there's everything in. There's everything in there. So do you feel like you could actually do this now? Okay. Because that was the whole point of this. So that you walk in and you're, you're saying that this Camtasia software is a big black mm -hmm. box over there. And when you walk out, you've seen this enough to say, you know what? I could sit down in front of that. Even if you can't take a green screen out of if you don't have a green screen behind you, you can still do this and you just have the background and you put a border around that that particular picture. Let's see if it's 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 layer to work. Okay. There we go. It work? Oh, there we go. That should work. I can fast forward to the end. Okay, I want to show Good you morning, guys. everybody. Would you like to build a snowman today? Of course you would, because the temperatures are dropping today all over the United States. So it's perfect for building a snowman. Can you write on that? Let's see if it will write today. For building a snowman. Try your mouse. See here. One of the choices you can also do that I really like about this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, click on those choices. Okay. For building a snowman, you will run need run this double key. Snow. Or you can run it this is why the tablet works a little better. The tablet's better. We can get the tablet oh. and say, I want to hear you oh, do that really there's our quiz. slowly. Or they can say, yeah, 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 get, get me to the place that, that you want. So there's our and quiz. And here's the quiz. You can replay it. So. Not sure what uh what's the default in there what? And there. And grass. I'm going to say purple. purple. Submit. And I can view my the answers or I can continue. Today. There we go. And I like to put and that we'll say day core. It's not a quiz. Okay. When I and so on. math, okay. I'm so going to turn it I know they need this before they can do the next piece I'm going to do, and that's where I say, putting a, a, a question of, do you know how to do this, or, or a little problem, see if they can move forward, and they can either click on go back and review, or they can click on continue to move forward. So, anything else? Okay. Don't try hotspot samples, or do we do hotspot? That's it, how you go it, back and forward. It, it has hot spots, and that, that's how you can move forward and back. In fact, we put in chapters, so you can put in markers um, throughout, and it will show up at, as a list if you, if you press the, uh, well, that, I guess we don't have yeah, it up the, right now, but right next to closed captioning, you can have it show good morning, your every chapters. If you click on this, it will show your chapters on the left. The students can search through which chapters or, or which pieces of your lecture that, that they wanted to. Or if you've got closed captions and you've got um, chapters in there, they can search for a word that you've got in your closed captioning and they can jump to that part. So our students, students like that as well. So this, like I said, there, there's a lot more that you can do with this. You get more involved in, in hot stuff is one of the pieces. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.